All right, everybody. I'm gonna try a different kind of video here, and no, there's nothing I can do about the wind. We uh, have this conversation often. I am doing an outside video, and it is a bit windy. So, kinda have to uh, take it for what it is. So, like, like we've uh, discussed before, I'm taking this thing to Virginia in a few weeks, and uh, one of the things you definitely want to do, and the wind is getting worse, <laughs> if it comes down to it, I'll, uh, okay, that came out pretty easy. Alright, so I'm doing the wheel bearings on this, and uh, this is a very important job if you don't want to be stranded on the side of the road, <coughs> which I do not. So, I've already taken the wheel off, as you can see. It's supported by a jack stand. There is a jack there, but there is also a jack stand. I didn't know what size this is, so I actually bought a whole assortment. There you take the cotter pin off. This is Man, this is very loose. I have no reason to suspect that the wheel bearings are even remotely bad. But you do want to make sure that they are greased to ensure the uh, safe arrival of your uh, your safe arrival. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll end up on the side of the road. And I don't know if you've ever. Of course I'm going to drop that in the dirt. Luckily this is not part of the barren. This is just a castle nut. It looks like, looks like it's actually missing some parts. So I'm going to stick this in the dust cap over there. I just wanted to make sure that was clean. Now there's a seal behind here and uh, Man, these barons are not bad at all. I'm gonna assume this is a one inch baron. <laughs> I'll try to get a number off of it. Uh, these have been replaced before. These are China barons. So, I'm gonna try get the seal out without damaging it. I may try to get the seal out without damaging it. This job really doesn't take long at all. Now what I've decided I'm going to do, because these hubs are not in the best of shape, I'm going to I wanted to get a number off of these so I could uh, check the, you know, check what size they are, and uh, check uh, so I can get a replacement set. But I think rather than get a replacement set of barons, I'm going to buy a replacement hub, maybe even two because they are cheap. They're like thirty bucks a piece, and. Uh, and I wanted to keep a set of barons <laughs> with me on the trip. Now I'm going to try to get a picture of this number. I'm going to try to get to focus you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. So, what I'm gonna do now, because this is not taking as long as I thought it was going to, I don't know if I wanna try to disturb this baron or and the seal, uh, to be frank about it. Baron feels pretty darn good. And 
so I'm not going to try to disturb this seal. What I'm going to do instead, this is where I wish I had more uh, cardboard. I have more cardboard. It's just didn't think to grab. I would need it. Brake parts cleaner gets used on everything but brake parts. And that's going to be the life now with this on the answer me. Might try to get the uh, numbers off of this uh, off this hub too because there's a few numbers on the hub. And I want to dry my hands now the uh, brake clean, the nice thing about that is it dries very, very quickly. Alright, so what I'm going to do now... I even brought a, I bought a grease gun too because I was going to try to look, look for some other stuff. Now what I'm going to do... And this is why you see me wearing gloves right now. I have a really nice uh, Valvoline grease here. And it's, uh, it's a semi-synthetic. It's a synthetic blend. And it's... Uh, normally what I would do is I would take the seal out, pull the baron out, but I didn't think to grab my seal puller and I also didn't know what size barons these were to get the seal. This thing is definitely pretty well packed at this point. So what I want to do now is uh, clean off the, the actual axle here. And when I say clean off, I'm not trying to make it pristine I'm just <laughs> trying to get some of the old grease off. So what I can do now is I'm gonna slide this in there after I pre-grease this uh, this axle. There is a such a thing as too much grease <laughs> kind of <laughs> And it does kind of worry me. There's a few things that kind of worry me right now about this. I didn't want because it kind of worries me that I disturbed the oil seal on the back. And because uh, I really didn't want to do that. I'm going to, <laughs> maybe I should not do that. If that's all the dirtier I get in this job, or doing this job, then this is pretty good. I did bring some uh, fast orange hand cleaner. In case you're curious, I don't know how, how well you're going to see it. This is the grease I used. Where's my thirties? Actually, since I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and use some on my hands before I put new gloves on. Cause seriously, if, I, if this is the dirtiest I get, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm golden. The nice thing about this is it is for the most part a waterless, uh, waterless, uh, hand cleaner. But you guys have seen me do some dirty things, and if you see me wearing gloves, you know this is going to be a dirty job. There's my, uh, selection of cotter pins. Like I said, I didn't know what size I needed, so... The safest thing to do in my book was 
get a powder pin kit. You can, it never hurts to have them around, although I can't tell you the last time I needed one other than this. And, and when I was doing some work on the S10. I had a kit and I couldn't find it. I think, it, I think the one shop I had work on the red truck, uh, when I told them they were sitting on the seat if they needed them. And I think they uh, decided that they needed them more than I did. So this is where things get a little bit different. This is where the actual lesson comes in on preloading the barons. There's, I believe there's supposed to be a washer behind here. There usually is on on these type of barons. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it until it stops the uh, barons pretty much. Well, I don't, this isn't gonna go anymore. But what I'm gonna do Take a cotter pin, match it up. I think it's this one here. No. Uh, that looks like it. So I need to. I'm actually, gonna loosen up a little bit. That actually feels really good. So now. What this cotter pin will do is keep this wheel from coming off. All you do is, every tool has a hammer end, right? So now this side's done. The only thing I gotta do now is go ahead and do the other side. Now I'm gonna explain to you why I said I'm going to uh, buy new hubs rather than just new barons. Now if you notice, looks like there's only two lugs on here because two of these, the studs came off with the uh, lug nuts. And uh, that means these are pretty rusted on there. And honestly, it's just better to be safe than sorry. I mean like, I mean, if I get new barons, that's not, I mean, that's not going to hurt anything. It's just not really going to help it either. And of course, I was, whoa, whoa, ah, <laughs> whoa, to quote one of my favorite YouTubers. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, really, I just need to do the other side and <laughs> then uh, once I'm done with there, I'll torque the wheels down. I don't like the fact I got grease on these threads, but that's not gonna hurt anything either. But I'm not gonna bore you through making you sit through the other side as well. So thank you for watching, have a blessed day, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.